everyone. Uh, today we are making pure vanilla extract, homemade. Um, we came across this in a library book about um, doing your own pantry instead of buying stuff at the grocery store. Uh, we've been working on that for a couple of years now, and now it's just kind of getting more. Winter's coming, running to the grocery store is getting to be kind of more of a hassle with four babies. Um, this is Bethany. She's our last. Um, so what we have done is we do a lot of homemade ice cream and vanilla is one of the favorites in the family. So we've been going through a lot of the extract. At about $4 a bottle, it's adding up. Um, we're going through about a bottle a week uh, with making about three or four batches of ice cream. So we bought vanilla beans and that's what's inside of this jar. We top it off with vodka and then you just give it a little shake. I just bought cheap vodka. It doesn't have to be expensive or top shelf. This bottle of vodka was about five dollars, maybe six. Um, there's plenty left for drinking if mom needs a break <laughs> um, or for making more vodka. Now in three weeks when this smells like vanilla and has a nice pleasant smell, it's ready. You can pour it off into another container and you can keep using those same beans and adding more beans to it. In my homemade vanilla, I like to add at least one bean um, to that. And these were just the vanilla beans from the supermarket in the glass vial. Of course you want your vanilla beans empty on the inside. Um, you just slice it open and scrape out the little vanilla in the inside and you want to rinse it before you stick it in the vanilla. So we're just gonna, this is gonna turn brown also and that's when you know it's ready. So that's my homemade vanilla tip. Came across it in a book. I can't take the credit for it but I just wanted to share it. Bye everyone. Happy fall.